cotton, love it or hate it, you know, nobody's planting it in Alabama anymore. And then the cotton farmer, cotton farming is going by the wayside. I was headed at Powell's the other night, and um, sorry for those of you who weren't there and hearing it again, but, you know, and there's part of me that sees this as a, as a this is national security. You know, like when we can't grow our own food, when we can't make our own cotton, all the steel mills in Birmingham, Alabama, now I know that steel work is hard work, you know, that the same stories that I'm collecting from textile workers in my region, I hear from families in Birmingham that made steel. You know, when we don't have any more steel available to us in this country, that is to me a question of national security. I think it's important. I believe it's important. And this is why I'm scraping and pinching and figure out how I can buy a year's worth of cotton at one time because I think it's really important to show that we can do it. Now, why I think I have to show that, somebody probably needs to knock me on the head. But I think it's important to show people it can be done. It can be done. And I mean, 10 years later, I'm still here and I'm telling the stories. And I mean, I'm, you know, we're not going to be, we're not millionaires from the work that we do, but we get up every morning with a great conscience and we go to a great job and we all love one another most days and uh, we make a really beautiful product that hopefully goes out into the world and um, makes people think that something different can be possible, right? Just that glimmer of, I even hate to say this word these days, hope. <laughs> yeah.